so when we flush it now, it kind of sticks open. Uh, they, the, I think it's the spring inside that's really having problems. We have to actually push it back up. We have one stinky episode for you today. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Garrett and I'm Carolyn and we're Diary of a Family. We're living life intentionally with you. If you don't remember, back in January, our toilet started ha having problems while we were on the road. All right, so for a while we've known that the toilet, the seal on the toilet needs to be replaced. Well, tonight as we turn on the water pump at our second location to go ahead and, you know, wash hands and such, the water starts running in the toilet bowl. <laughs> The water stopped. It isn't flowing. It's awesome. It got stuck wide open and you can't have that while traveling because we need water. When he means wide open, like water kept rushing into the bowl without us messing with the foot flush at all. So that's a problem. We were able to tear it apart. It took us a several hours one evening and with minimal parts actually, since we only had some gaskets, we were able to clean out some pieces mm -hmm. and make our toilet last just a little bit longer. Now we have everything we need to basically have a new toilet and we're gonna show you the process that we do to put in that new toilet. So we are working with the uh, Thetford Aqua, f Aqua Flush. Mag Aqua Magic. Aqua, um, oh, Aqua Magic. <laughs> Aqua Magic 2. Our toilet does not, uh, is not doing what it was doing before with the water filling it up. But there are some other issues now. The mechanics inside are sticking really bad and we're gonna show that to you. If you do not need to replace the entire Aqua Magic 2 toilet, just skip ahead using the time codes. I'm leaving them in the description for your convenience. So let me show you what's been going on with our toilet. So when we flush it now, it kind of sticks open. Uh, they, the, I think it's the spring inside that's really having problems. We have to actually push it back up. Sometimes the seal still leaks, even though that's a new seal from January and it's only been in there for four months. We bought a whole kit from Amazon, it costs about 80 bucks, and it basically rebuilds your entire toilet. We'll put a link in the description so that you can find that, as well as finding it on our website at diaryofafamily.com on our <laughs> store. Step one, you need to turn the water off at the source. Eddie, your head's in the way. <laughs> All right, water is off. Step two, I'm going to run the water until there's no more water in the wine. Oh, <laughs> here comes our four-year-old's head again. <laughs> you gotta run that water, Daddy. All gone, no more water? No more water. This is another problem that we're having. It's leaking water on the floor whenever we're flushing it. The kit we purchased includes the entire base pre-assembled as well as the two o-rings you need and the bolts and such for installing it to the floor and the ceramic bowl above. When it comes to toilet issues, if you're unsure what the problem is or the toilet is quite old, we recommend that you just replace the entire base and have it all pre-assembled ahead of time. Lots less stress, lots less headaches if you can just take out the old and replace it with the new. These are the tools that you will need. Set of pliers, a half inch socket, and a 3 8 inch socket, and then a tube of plumber's grease, Phillips head screwdriver, as well as a garbage sack for taking the old toilet out. Number three, remove the water source. All you really need to do is unscrew this source and you may have water come out. Oh yeah. Most likely you will. We've got a towel here, we're gonna just clean that up. You don't want water sitting for any length of time in your RV. A pro tip, if you can, get a ball valve that you can turn off the water right here at the source. 
that'll save you the trouble of having to turn off the water to the entire RV just to get the toilet out. Step four, remove the bolts that are holding the toilet to the floor. You can use your pliers to work the little plastic cover off. You will probably want a socket that has a little bit of depth to it so that you can place this over the nut that's holding it in. Once it's loose, you can pretty much do the rest of it by hand. Step number five, prepare your garbage sack to lift your toilet and put it in. I'm gonna lift it up. And set it in. Now that we have it all packaged up, at least the bottom part. Step number seven, we now need to separate the bowl from the base. We need to remove this clip and a couple of bolts inside and then do a little shaky twisty thing. I think the last time we did this, we did it with it still in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we did this all. So I had to do it up against the wall. This is gonna be so easy. It is quite tight. You want it tight so you don't leak water everywhere. For the little bolts inside, you need a 3 8 And it, they do have these plastic rings that sit down on the porcelain first before the metal rings so you're not damaging the porcelain. Okay, finally, finally you need to twist the base off. There we go. And just like that, your pieces are separated. So you have two rings in a toilet like this. You have the top one that seals off your ball valve for flushing, and then you have this other one down at the bottom that keeps it from leaking out on the floor. So both of these you're going to get rid of and you're going to replace, making sure that you have some of that plumber's grease. Well, that old toilet was really nasty and we didn't want to show you all the different components with the old one. So we're gonna take apart this brand new one and explain all the different pieces to you. When you're replacing the ball seal on your toilet, I recommend that you take this piece off it can be a little tricky, and if it has been sitting in your toilet for a while, it's probably gonna be really sticky. So you can probably use something to pry it open and then clean out the seal here and all the components. Now that we have the cover off, I wanted to show you how this ball valve works. So basically, when you push down on the flush, it opens it up and allows your waste to drop out. And then when you release the foot flush, it comes right back up. I'll just go ahead and remove the foot flush, and put that on its side and give it a yank. You're gonna have to actually yank it because it doesn't come off if you're trying to just wiggle it. Now that's off, here's your ball valve. It's right here. So to remove it, you just take the old screw out. And it's a Phillips head screw. And you just kind of bend this in and that pops oh, out. So it's easy to get in and out. This is your foot flush valve. This adds the water into the toilet when you are flushing. So you lift up this tab so it clears this side right here, and then it pops over, and then... Somehow. <laughs> there it goes. And the whole thing... Twists out. Twists out. So the valve sits here, and then when you push down on the foot flush, it takes this part of the valve that was keeping the water out, opens it up, and then allows water to come through. Then that fills up this area, and which goes right to the bowl. We believe that one of the issues that caused our toilet to get stuck open was our spring right here was wearing out. And it's, it should be really, really tight. I can't even move it with my hand. So that's what it should be. And if your spring is not keeping its springiness, <laughs> then you're, you probably will start running into issues, like the foot flush being stuck open. Now that we have everything taken apart, let's go ahead and put it back together. We'll go ahead and start with the, the water valve itself. So to put this back together, you want this to line up right inside of this groove here. Kinda have to stick it in at an angle and then rotate it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of plumber's grease around the seal here to like add a little extra sealant. Make sure to use plumber's grease that does not have petroleum in it because the petroleum 
will degrade and eat at your o-ring seals i'm just going to apply a little bit of grease inside and then work it with my finger you want to have your valve put together basically you push it together so that pops down okay. up and over the post and it'll snap back down and now your toilet valve is Sweet. ready to go next i'm going to put the ball valve back in the toilet i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna put just a little bit of grease on this o-ring here work it around you want to make sure that the o-ring is facing the side with the foot flush slide it into the uh, groove on one side <laughs> don't let that happen don't let that happen <laughs> Best to work on this toilet, not on the toilet area. Okay, that's in. It's nice and smooth. And then line up the, the notch here with the notch inside the ball valve. Push it in and then reattach the screw. All right, well that should rest at the top when that's up. And then it comes down. Finally, we're going to put our foot flush back on. And this takes a little bit of alignment and it'll tell you where to put it. So like right here, you want to put your spring right in this little area. Your valve will go in this back area here and your ball valve for the foot flush right here will go in this little square. Can be a little tricky at times. So once you get all three pieces lined up, the spring is in the spring area, the ball valve is in there, and then down there in the corner is your regular valve. You can push it all together. Now that it's all assembled, just test it and make sure that it's working as advertised. Then I'm going to put a layer of plumber's grease around this O-ring here and then we'll uh, get it connected to the bowl. You probably don't need as much as I just put on there, <laughs> but enough to basically coat the O-ring. It probably will not set or lock in until you attach the toilet. Now we are going to apply the upper ring to the ball valve. I'm gonna put just a little bit of grease down underneath it. I'll just give it a nice little coating, set it right on top, so that when it pushes down, it'll provide a seal on the ball valve. And now we are ready to put the porcelain top back on the toilet. Now it is time to put the porcelain back on the throne. We do not have enough potty jokes on this video. Ah, no, we need more potty jokes. So now we attempt to get the two pieces back together again. That corner there. Okay. Yes, there we go, yep. All right, we had to pull up just on one of the little plastic um, tabs. tabs that hold the porcelain uh, because it didn't want to be above the porcelain to hold it down. And then it slid right into place just with that twisting motion. You can tell when it's in alignment because the two screw holes will be right below. So our holes are in alignment here and on the other side. And you can see that all of the little plastic parts are holding the porcelain in place. Because we bought the brand new kit, we're gonna swap out all the little pieces with the new ones because rust happens, damage happens, and we don't want something giving way. So I am going to change out this clasp piece here for the new one. I think it was that direction. Get that ready for installation. And then we're gonna put in the bolts in the back, making sure that we thread on the metal wa washer first and then the plastic one so that the plastic is close to the porcelain. Other bolts. I have not tightened down the first one yet. I wanna get the second one in place before doing that. I'm gonna gently tighten down the bolts. Not too tight because you don't want to crack your porcelain. 
next step, we're going to reattach the water hose to the back of the base. Slides on there. Use the little clamp to clamp it in place. There. I have taken the time to clean the floor and the ring here that's installed on the floor of our bathroom. The kit we had comes with those installation bolts, so we're going to switch these out. They just slide right back into place. Then we have the new nuts to uh, reinstall the toilet there. I'm gonna have Garrett bring the toilet in and sit it on the base after we install the ring. The next step when we are replacing our toilet is we're gonna put a new bottom seal on. This one's actually pretty simple. So down here, just put it over that. Slides right on. Slides right on. Now we're going to set the toilet on the screw holes, get those lined up. Make sure the toilet is square to the wall. It does allow for some movement. We tighten this up with our half inch socket. You wanna make sure it's fairly tight, but you don't need to get it too tight. Put these little caps back on. Last step is reattaching the water and then turning the water back on. And this is just hand tightened until it doesn't want to turn anymore. Let's go ahead and turn the water back on and test it out. Hey, water. Any leaking on the floor back there? Nope, not that I see. Yay! <laughs> hey, that's beautiful. We have a basically brand new toilet. All right, we're making sure, just double sure that it's not leaking anywhere in the back. Go ahead and flush it again. Perfect. We hope this video was informative and helped you fix whatever problem you might be having in your Thetford Aqua Magic 2 toilet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life intentionally. intentionally. Bye y'all.